All right, I'll get to the full reading for all these in a second. Uh, at some point, I'm going to do an Elvira review. I got the red, white, and blue one. She's all in red, so I don't know why she's called red, white, and blue, but eh, we'll go with it. But that's not who we're doing today, so we're doing the Dusty Tiger Force thing. And now, the reason I've got all these figures out is because I decided to put his small glasses on cut up here. Let's see, it's right around her neck there. It goes up on her eyes when she's doing stuff. Um, I put her helmet on rock and roll because I needed his helmet for Hawk here, my kit bashed Hawk. And I used the other goggles that came with Dusty. Put them on Hawk because it works for his look. So now he's kind of like... Yeah, you know, good it needs to be. And when I get to her review, I'll show the knife and everything. Because, yeah, I have most of this. I just got the LR thing. Yeah, pretty good figure. I'll get into the Neko uh, version. Her whole outfit is cloth goods, except for her shoes. And we'll leave it at that. I'll, I'll get to it later. Oh, this is the uh, swagger stick that the traitor uh, fucking slaughter comes with. That's what he's called, you know, it's it's the one where he was the Iraqi sympathizer character for WWE. I'm not calling him a traitor or anything, I'm, you know what I'm saying about that. That for that, all that review I did earlier from the two different uh, versions, the Hasbro version that I got from Ollie's and the other one. But I use this for a chain for uh, crossroads that he has on his bike. For Some bikers have it so they go whack. If, yeah, they're in their bike, they have to deal with some bullshit or some shit. Anyway, not important. But anyway. Right. Right now, we're doing one on Homeboy here. Camera will stay still. And Dusty looks kind of cool, but it's basically the same figure. I'll play one more thing. I'll get to it in a second. So, like, you know, he's got the full articulation and everything else. And if you have the Dusty figure, you have this figure. It's basically how all Tiger Forces have been done. The knife and everything. I am not getting the Flint one because I have the original Flint and I nah, just don't give a shit. If I found the one with uh, Duke somewhere with the bike, I'd get it, but that's kind of hard to get. Yeah, he's got the same bull pip gun, cool bull pip, bull pup gun. The backpack with all the shit on it. Same movement and all that other stuff. I know some people are impressed with this. It's just, eh. Why is a desert trooper in camouflage? I, I don't get it, but... This thing on the back of his head, this thing on the helmet here, whatever, is to keep the heat off. I really think it's kind of hot in the jungle, but what you really need for, all right, you know, again? I, I don't know, you know, hey, it's just not my aesthetic. Uh, you know, I have the other dust, I like that one better, but yeah, I know people don't like it that I actually would know, so I'm not going to say much else, just for me, I don't get it. But, you know, he fits the whole Tiger stri uh, tiger Force gear. Look, hang on. So we can compare the two faces. Because I have already kit bashed the other the Dusty into two different figures. Now let's get the one with his head. Uh, which is, of course, Running Bear. Yeah, with the whole gun and everything. This is one that I molded. The original one is in his house somewhere. I'll look for it later. <coughs> really, I can't fit him. <sighs> Mother of pearl. Anyway, as you can basically see, you know, it's just... Yeah. I don't know how to get this close enough. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <sighs> of course, he's on a... Uh, Still brigade body now, because I, I just like that one better. It worked better for, for my uh, running bear figure. But, as you can tell, it's, yeah, essentially the same guy. The same face and everything. Still something familiar about that face. There's a cross right there. Alright. Hey, yeah. They basically are the same guy. Same face, yeah. It's just basically a repaint. It's a good repaint. I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying. I know other people have said they like this version of the repaint better than the original. I'm happy for them. That's cool. 
I didn't have to heat him or anything. And yeah, you can do a split and shit. And don't say there aren't Joes. I mean, there are some Joes that do require that now. But at the time, he was still made from that mold where you don't have to do all that stuff. Which is probably why Sarge's gun is as good as it is. I think I needed to reheat him. I, I can't remember anymore. Another reason I'm not going to get the uh, G.I. Joe Hawk that they're selling. Not that it doesn't look good, but I don't want to deal with Harmon Fall Off Boy over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The drop down arm thing doesn't work. And if you're going to criticize one company for things breaking when you're moving them a certain way, but this thing can pop off and it's just fine, I'm like, ah, no, sunshine. But that's all right, that's all right. Like I'm saying. I like this figure, and I do like what Hasbro has done. This this guy looks pretty good. He can hold his weapons fine. He comes with a decent amount of gear. He can carry all this shit. Probably put the tripod on the backpack. Oh, shit. Fell off. Eh, I'm not gonna bitch about it. Shit happens. You know, shit falls off. Hell, I've made stuff where shit has fallen off, so I can't really say anything. When I'm kid bashing and shit, you know. It is what it is. But, yeah. Good figure. He can move the fucking clip and everything, excuse me, magazine, and essentially, if you have the old Dusty, you have this one, same clip, same bullpup gun, awesome gun, it's an AUG, anyway, yeah, you can do the, yeah, the drop and shoot shit and all that stuff, so, yeah, if it was, like, set up to be in, like, a firefight, you could do it. Probably won't be able to see better because he's got the little thing. But yeah, he can be set up pretty well. He still has the old school neck, so he doesn't have the current neck system that doesn't make any damn sense. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. And yeah, the Alvaro figure is a little bit tall. Because, to be honest, this is another NECA figure she's standing next to, and she's towering over the motherfucker, so, yeah, she's kind of a tall gal. We'll get into that when I get into the review, which is still cool. She still looks good. She still looks like Elvira. Eh, but, that's not what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, yeah, it works. She's got, if you like the camouflage look on his face, it's there. If you wanted to make a Sable figure, John Sable, uh, not Silver Sable, but anyway... John Sable from the comic book series. Yeah, you could pretty much do it with this head sculpt. Because I hit the face paint and everything. Alright, it is.